Hi all, uh, welcome to another video of CodeCon and uh, today I'll be solving another interview question. In this particular question, we are given a table called eShop which shows the tax month and the amount of tax for each uh, category of products, right? So uh, we are having three category of products, clothing, electronics and uh, sports in these three category of products is having different kinds of taxation amount, right? Uh, so we need to find the man month which is having maximum tax amount. So to find the maximum tax amount, uh, we need to uh, do an aggregate or the summation of the tax amounts uh, for a particular month. So uh, like it's a it is a horizontal addition. If you see uh, for the January month, uh, the tax the, the, the tax amount will be like 2000 plus 1500 which is, is equal to 3500 plus 3000 which is like if I write for Jan it is uh, the tax amount is like uh, 6500. Similarly, for Feb, uh, the tax amount is going to be uh, 1000 plus 2500 is 6500 plus 4000 is 7500. And uh, similarly, for uh, March, it's going to be uh, 2400, 4400. Uh, and similarly, for uh, April, it's going to be. 5,500 uh, 4, and uh, 5,500 right so as you can see the my highest tax amount uh, go is uh, 7,500 and, and it is corresponding to February month so the output is February month I hope the question and the required output is clear to you guys moving on to the solution what I will do is that uh, in, uh, so as the data is uh, you know given in a very horizontal way I will try to make it in a vertical uh, representation uh, like for January month uh, for clothing the, uh, there should be particular amount and uh, similarly uh, for the electronics uh, the taxation amount will come under the clothing section and similarly for the sports amount uh, the, the taxation amount will come under the electronic section so once I write the code and the I show you the output it will be better for you guys so I will start like this key select uh, okay select from ease Hmm. shop as e1 okay so i want to select tax uh, t tax month comma uh, clothing um, uh, as price uh, sorry tax amount for better understanding uh, ta tax amt uh, okay i will do a union all union all select uh, select the same thing uh, the same thing okay uh, from eShop uh, uh, eShop as e2 okay I will I will uh, uh, the next category is electronics so electronics will come here uh, similarly uh, I will do an union all union all and I will, and I will select uh, that uh, uh, like I will select from e shop and I will select the same tax month so that the number of uh, so that the uh, like the columns remain the same and in particular category is ports right so uh, one once I just run this query you see the the data which was previously arranged in a uh, like in a horizontal way is now arranged in a vertical way as we are having if you can uh, see the if you can see this in the previously I have uh, for each particular month uh, we are having three categories and we are having four months so as per the calculation three into four is twelve we should have twelve uh, rows once we split the data in a very horizontal uh, in a vertical way and similarly in this particular output we are having twelve rows where each month uh, the tax amount is uh, uh, given right so I will just store this in a city with CTE as okay let's CT1 as uh, this particular thing next I can simply carry out the summation operation over this particular city right uh, uh, select uh, tag uh, select tag okay select from CTE1 and I can uh, select the tax month uh, comma sum of the uh, okay tax underscore amt uh, as total amount right and i will group this by uh, i will group by tax month simple so once i do this i will get the aggregate summation of the total uh, tax payable for each month so 
as I have shown guys, uh, you guys here, it's automatically uh, the similar kind of tax uh, uh, values are being shown here. So from this particular value, I am going to select the maximum one, right? So what I will do is that I will just store this in CT2 with CT2 uh, as this particular thing and then I can uh, select, okay, with the which should not be there. Uh, it's fine now. Uh, select star from CT2 or rather I can select the tax month only tax month from CT2 where uh, uh, like the tax amount the total amount should be uh, is equal to select select max uh, tax amount AMT from CT2 so once I run this particular query uh, tax okay so this is not a tax this is a total should be this one okay okay once i run this particular query i am getting the february month as the output okay so uh, this particular uh, problem i have divided into two parts the first part is arranging the data in the uh, uh, vertical way so that i can carry out the uh, i can carry out my uh, calculation right so that I, I can carry out the calculation in that particular for that particular thing I'm using the union keyword uh, and uh, union all keyword rather so that it is vertically arranged and once it is vertically arranged the next process is very simple we are just uh, doing the summation uh, using uh, group and uh, we are just doing the summation using group by over the tax month and uh, thereafter we are selecting that month which is having the highest tax value right so I hope this solution is clear to you guys you can also try it uh, in your using your approach and meet you in the next video. Thank you